Hey family, it's uh, Shannon here again from Get Fed. So pleased to be with you. Let me break off into prayer and then I'm going to get started uh, with the word of the day. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessings and your mercies. Lord, I seen what you just did a few moments ago. I thank you so much. Uh, you just, you always talking. You just, you just keep it up, Lord. That's, that's what, that's what you're there for. To hear all of everyone's mess and we appreciate you and we love you so much and um, we give all the praise and honor and glory to you simply because you are we renounce any fear of uh, rejection envy enviousness uh, lawlessness uh, uh, marine spirits familiar spirits Anything unholy, Lord, rebellion, stubbornness, anything that would keep us from you and your will for our lives being fulfilled, we cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, God. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a couple of days and stuff. I've been uh, just doing some self-reflection. Um, my uh, my wedding anniversary, my 12th year wedding anniversary was two days ago. Um, so it was supposed to, uh, yeah, it was uh, for me and my, my late spouse. And so I was just taking a little time and things like that to, uh, you know, just time. But anyway, the Lord is so funny. He was just talking to me. I was just thinking, Lord, I, I, I kind of... I kind of gave myself a break and he's like I had been talking to you all week long and I've been trying to understand what it was but um it was about the Lord not being lax on what he's told us and he's going to keep giving <laughs> these Bible verses and these things until um, until the promise is there so we can build endurance so we can be encouraged so he uh, he really just gave me what is this he gave me oh boy this is so funny Exodus 14 um, Exodus is one of my favorite books in the Bible. The Lord knows me so well. Um, this is about crossing the Red Sea. I was having, um, some issues earlier. Well, maybe, maybe not some issues. Really, really not any issues. Just me, uh, kind of being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just not so much as, uh, ungrateful, just impatient. It's like the little things, all the little things in my life that I had, you know, one step by step, attaining goals, doing, uh, getting things done, knocking things off the list. And it's just the still, this one promise and thing like, uh, things like that, that I was just having so much, uh, trouble with and the Lord kept telling me you know I'm I'm with you I'm I'm with you and um so it's um it's a little uh I don't know how to explain I'm not saying but it, it, the Lord just brought me to this he gave me uh, a raise of 14s and I was just like Lord you already you gave me um uh, 14s and I was like you want me to deliver the same message again I was like I know that this, some of this message is for me and so it was like a whole thing for like a week and then I was like okay and so when I finally just uh, made up in my mind okay it must be something different that um, the Lord has for me within the same context of whatever he told me this is like a part two to the video of um what video did i do I'll, I'll put something in the description but it's a part two to the video of um where i was saying that where it says that the lord is not lax concerning our um our gifts i mean concerning our promises the promises that he has told us individually and things like that so the lord is not lax um, the Lord had to sh literally show me everything. Well, maybe not everything, but everything he allowed me, wanted me to see um, was concerning my life and other people's lives. And he's like, you have to be happy with, um, you have to be happy right now in this time and count it all joy for, for um, later, for later. You're supposed to... Um, 
within this, within waiting for promises to be fulfilled um, and things, um, you're supposed to wait in in um, grace. You're supposed to have grace while you wait. And the Lord was telling me that um, just like the uh, the Israelites had waited hundreds of years to be um, uh, led out of captivity and into a promised land, the promised land, which Moses did not get to see, you know, um, but he got a nice little he got a nice little uh, deck or whatever on looking over over the promised land. So he got set up still pretty nice. Um, but, um, you know, it's just about us being in our in our wilderness. Um, how we we can't complain so much. It's okay to be uh, It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be um, It's okay to not know uh, What's going to happen or to not or to feel completely helpless in a matter um, That's all normal and that's all part of the process and positioning to get to the promised land So we have to keep that in mind um, the Lord gave me, um, he, this part is for me, but it's also, hold on, sorry, these eyes are not, I actually wear glasses, and, um, I don't like to wear glasses, <laughs> And I hate touching my eyes with contacts. So, um, okay, so he wanted me, oh, there it is again, this, this 14s and 21s he was giving me. Um, then Moses stretched out his, so it's Exodus 14, uh, 21. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. And, and then the next one is 22. <laughs> So the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea on the dry ground and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. So, so that right there, um, people, is the Lord even in the in the midst of all of um all of that disbelief or how are we gonna ever um how are we ever gonna make it um across this river we got the egyptians coming to try and kill us we got our enemies trying to kill us and trying to kill our spirit and everything um and things like that how are we going to ever get across this we're going to put our faith in God. That's the only way we're going to make it across this. I mean, what else are we doing with our time? You know, um, you going about your everyday life is you going about your everyday life, but you deciding, I'm just going to trust on God on the matter. I'm going to see what work um, he wants me to do to um, uh, get the, to move the matter forward, to progress in the matter. So it's that we keep that while we're going through the process of the changes of the, the sea being parted for us, us um, wandering in the desert 40 years until we get to the promised land is all about the um the 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 promise the initial promise which is to get you to that promised land so um yeah that's pretty much it though so i hope you guys encourage you guys to go read exodus 14 and things but you know um that's pretty much what the lord gave me concerning our our uh, promises and things it's just that it's not gonna come when we want them to come they're gonna come when they're ready to come he says i just heard that he's like when they are ready when i have done when everything that needs to be done because i know we're waiting on other things we're waiting on um you know hearts to be warmed we're waiting on uh illnesses and things to be healed and waiting on that um, is difficult. But if we're just waiting and we're doing our job, which is the simple job of just waiting, um, we're doing already more than what we've been asked to do. And um, you wait, then um, you ask the Lord if there's some action that will progress it. And then you wait some more and you just keep waiting until God provides the answers 
and the uh, movement until God provides the movement. So he's providing little instances of movements you guys have already seen within yourself. You need to take um, your t um, with your taking the instance of um, you're taking the instance of, uh, you know, where you should. Um, you, uh, sorry, my kid just like totally blacked out my mind, but we can't, um, God has so many good things in store for us. And if we don't wait on them, um, you know, it could be detrimental to the plan that God has for our wills where we would not work, uh, walk perfectly in his perfect will. We'd walk, um, not perfectly in his permissive will. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants to bang their head up against the wall until we can, uh, you know, until we get it right. Right. So it's best we get it right the first time and just wait on those promises and, um, to keep each other encouraged and to, um, you have to walk in your purpose. If you're walking in your purpose every day, like uh, this is my season for YouTube. I believe that I am called to ministry. I already been have been confirmed with um with other uh elders and pastors that I have been um called to ministry. So I kind of and it's not that I want to be called to ministry. I really kind of like. Ugh. I'm kind of hoping I'm going through a lot of check marks. If one more person says that I have that gift, oh my God, it's like, okay, how many confirmations do you need, Bobo? And so I, um, yeah, I don't know. That'll be something. But I'm just all about um, the journey and I'm all about the adventure. So, you know, if you guys are walking in your purpose and that will bring adventure, that will bring life to your situation, that will bring hope to your situation while you're waiting on, you know, um, if you're waiting on to being healed from something, if you're waiting on a financial blessing, if you're waiting on a kingdom spouse, just walk in your purpose and do what you know you can do and what the Lord has called you to do. And, um, th you know, that's gravy, baby. So I love you guys. And if you haven't liked or subscribed, would you please consider joining the Get Fed family where we want more than manna. We want to get fed. Um, uh, and I love you guys, all my subscribers and uh, new subscribers. Thank you so much. You guys mean so much to me. And I love you. And until next time. Bye.